Hello everyone and welcome back to the part number 3 of the brain tumor EMS classification using deep learning. So in part number 1 we actually building the model and in part number 2 we actually testing the models. So now in this video we are going to actually make one flux apps. Okay. So if I click here to browse the images. So this is nothing but the demo apps. So click here to open the images. Click here to predict. So as you can see here, this is nothing but ES brain tumor. And also you can see here, the brain is affected by tumor. Again, browse the images. So let's this one fresh. Okay, open and click here to predict. So as you can see here, no brain tumor. And you can see here, the brain is fresh. That's it's not affected by tumor. So in this tutorial, we are going to make these web applications. So if you missed the part number one and the part number two, link will be in the description. So please check it out because I am not actually going to discuss about this thing in very well manner in this tutorial. So let's get started and jump on our code. So one more announcement that is in part number four, we are actually building one Android application on this project. That means brain tumor in this classification Android apps. And also I actually made this out and I actually upload this and application on the Google Play Store. So just go in the Google Play Store and search for brain tumor classification. Click here, install and must give me review. Okay, so without further delay, so let's get started and jump on our code. So all right guys, so as you can see here, this is nothing but the existing code for you before in the part number two. So in this tutorial, we're actually going to build the web app. So you can see here main train.pi file and inside this file you can see here uh, all the code we actually building the model from scars in part number one so if you miss this out so link will be in the description also be the i button so please check it out and otherwise you don't understand the code very well okay so now you can see here one another file python file app.py and inside this folder you can see here some codes okay this is nothing but the code for actually building the web app so for building the web apps you actually using the flux framework so for that you need to open the command prompt here and type here pip install and the library name is nothing but flux so i'm not going to actually install this library because i already installed it so i'm going to click here to close that okay also you can see here one folder called static and also one templates so inside this folder you can see here some uh, html file okay i'll be discussing on that uh, don't worry and all the code should be in the github and there should be also a password and the password is brain tumor in lowercase ledger okay okay so now let's discuss about so first thing first we need to actually load the model from here so we are actually using the model but also you need to actually import the library so you can see here from import os and import tensorflow stf and also import numpy snp for multi-dimensional calculation and also you can see here from tensorflow.caras or people thing you actually import the image if you need it you can use it and also from pale you actually import in the image and import cb2 from caras.model you actually import the load model we don't need that okay don't need that and also from flux you're going to import the flux and the request and the random templates the random template is nothing but for the rank and the template from the template file that's in folder import and the index.html okay and also you can see here from which uh work jerk sorry i actually pro pronounce it the one panel and dot utils i'm going to import the sql file name so this sql file is important i'll be actually discussing uh in later one so now what you have to do you need to actually uh, uh create one app in flux all the things should be app okay web app that's an app so for that actually uh create a variable for app and inside this you can see a flux this flux and inside this you can see a uh, underscore underscore name okay then what you have to do you need to actually load the model so model you could load the model then you actually printing one message here model is loaded and check this link here okay so if i go down so this is the actual uh defining a function and we uh, later i'll be discussing on that okay so now you can see your app dot route you can see your flag and the method is nothing but get so get it actually using for the insecure one so if i run the code and go to the terminal new terminal and if i type here python okay okay so python app dot py so it will running this file here and you can see your opening dynamic link library and also li one link will be appear here okay just a few seconds you can see this link okay just close click here and follow the link and you can see here brain tumor uh, classification using deep learning and also you can see here if i reload this okay and also try to copy this out and passed it out here okay close that and if i go on the bs code so now you can see here get method get 
get get okay and you can say get static jazz new jazz dot http that's mean this get is nothing but insecure okay insecure so we actually method use the get so there was another method for post method that's mean anyone can actually uh, um, hack this get one but post is its secure file so that's why actually important is secure file okay okay so if i go down so we actually import uh, return that render template.index.html so let's go on the index.html so if i go on the index.html so let's close it out here so you can see here it actually extend the import.html so let's go on the import.html so now you can see here in the import.html you can see here link all the reference and the script from this static file don't worry all the file in the github you can also grab it from here so you can see inside the css folder you can see a bootstrap and also if i go on the jazz there are some jazz folder so you can also uh, download the uh, bootstrap from the bootstrap website and you can also do it by own okay but in this case you don't need to actually uh, worry about that because all the code should be in github and if you are able to actually build the machine learning model and testing out how so web apps it's not needed okay that's mean this is optional okay so you can see here some js file i am actually actually uh, discussing about this thing you can see a new js.js plugin.js and the main.js but bootstrap and all the file you can actually find it from bootstrap uh i actually download the bootstrap from their website okay so now if i go here you can see here actually on the head tag actually uh import all the things here and also you can see her uh, title is brain tumor classification using deep learning okay and inside this board you can see here one number this is nothing but the uh, bootstrap classes you can see a number number drug that's mean the number should be drug as you see before the demo and also a container and you can see a number brand and inside this you can see a brain tumor classification that means inside your number there should be a title called brain tumor classification using deep learning okay then it will go and using one ginger tablet that's mean right now if i if i if i trying to actually import this one that's mean this index.html actually extend this whole file and inside this block content and the and block it will pass the index.html so if i go here it will actually pass this one this pass this one okay so now you can see here we actually import one beer tech and brain tumor image classification using deep learning and also we we actually uh, use one from tech to actually upload the file as you can see here this is the id so using a jazz we actually uh, using this upload file and method is nothing but post because we actually giving post method and this is nothing but secure okay that's mean user only no okay and encryption type this is nothing but the encrypt type and also the input and input type is nothing but file and you can see here button that success and also you can see your image upload and accept so it will, it will actually accept the dot png file dot jpg and dot jpg file and also you can see here one image section this section is nothing but for actually loading the images and also you can see here one loader this is not meant for the loader that's been loading the images and also you can see here button that's been how you actually select the images and also the predict button will appear here and also you can see here one tag is called result and inside this span you can actually put the result here okay it's so easy to use okay so now if i go on app dot here so you can see here one slug that's mean this is not with the bank slug that's mean this is optional slug bank slug that's mean this one okay that's mean first file is open that's index.html so it will actually index.html will open that's mean this is the optional so how i actually click on the browse the images so it will go here okay it will go here it will actually upload one images then when we actually click the predict button as you see before in the demo so you can see here it actually route one predict file so app dot route that's mean this right now the flag should be predicted and method should be get and the post method so for that when you actually get the uh, uh, predict button so you need to actually upload here upload that's mean when you actually browse the images now we need to create one function to actually upload the files so when you actually upload the files you need to actually get the file folder name okay so if i go here you can see main.js this is empty file okay and this is the new.js so inside this folder files you can see here image sections loader and the result so this is the nothing but the results and this is nothing but the loader that's mean so this code is only for the image section uh, this is for the loading and this is for the result okay i'm not actually i'm not expert in jazz 
so don't worry okay so uh, okay so you can see here image preview and the button predict result result at the image sections and also the button predict okay and also you can see here type is nothing but post and also you can see here url equal to predict okay so that's when you need to go here and actually success this function that's been loader result and the result and finally the console lock if success okay and then it will like to pass the result here results and the data so data is coming from app dot py file okay app dot py file okay app dot py file this one okay so now you can see a dap upload now it's time to actually upload the file so when you're trying to upload the file and give one request and the request should be post request because how you actually upload the upload the files that's been upload the images and how you actually click the predict button so it will give me one result so that's why we need to actually, requ uh, actually get the files here so we are using request because if i go up so you can see here from flags you're going to actually import the flags and the request so you're actually using the request one so request.file and you can see here file that's mean this file is coming from here is actually coming from this here index.html this file okay this one is this file okay so if i go here this file okay so now you need to actually uh use the base path okay os.path.dnm so the uh, whole dnm that's the uh, dnm so if i go here on the predict folder this is nothing not the directory name okay this is nothing but the directory name and this is the base path so if i go here and actually select these images and this is the file path so file path is os.path.join that's when it will join this prediction and the image now and it will upload this path on the uploads file that's when how you actually select one picture and you can see here one folder also called uploads so you need to actually create one folder called uploads okay so let's let's close it right now okay you can see also a folder called uploads actually upload it before so inside this you can see here two files that's been actually tested out here this one and this one okay we test it out on the demo so that's why this image is appeared here and you can see it uploads this folder so if i go here so this all the files is saved on the uploads folder okay then also you can see your sql file and the app got file name why because this is the post request that's mean the post request is nothing but secure and the get request is nothing but insecure okay and now we need to click save the file inside the file name now we need to test it out here so if i go here main test.pfile so this is nothing but the testing a step we need to actually do first we need to actually load the model then we need to read the images and now now, now we need to actually convert this image into array then we need to resize them again numpy array then expand the dimension then predict the classes so if i go here i actually uh, call this function call get result so if i go up so you can see here this is nothing but the get result and it will take the parameter as an image so if i go down so now you can see your file path the file path is nothing but a full file path of the pictures so you go here we actually read the images from array resize numpy dot array expand the dimension and finally you're going to actually return the results here okay so now you can see here it actually got the value that's in this one value and now it actually get the class name so it will actually give me the uh, zero or one so if i go here main test.py file save it and if i run the code this is nothing but the main test.py file so python okay python main test.py so you can see here it actually loaded here it takes few seconds and also you can see here it will give me zero okay zero this is nothing but the class zero mean if i go here this is another prediction zero that's been prepared zero that's mean this is the image for the no one no one okay so this one okay this one go yep this one so this is nothing but no brain tumor that's mean class number is zero so that's why output is nothing but zero so now you actually convert this zero in some text file okay so if i go here go on the app dot py file go here okay close it so we actually creating one function that's mean how in the class name is zero that's mean no brain tumor how in the class name is one it's called es brain tumor okay this is the existing code we need to do that 
okay you can also save it out you can you, you can also use this uh, code in different types of model it should be a brain tumor detection or any kind of cnn model you can actually use these flux apps it's so easy to use okay honestly actually uh, uh download this code from that one github repository this uh, aesthetic and the tablet but i do the code this one okay okay so now you can see here it's time to actually uh run the code okay so all the uh, things is done and finally actually uh return the levels and return none that's when you just not actually i you don't actually uh understand that that's in any error it will return the none okay so now it's time to actually run the code here new uh, terminal and now you can see here python app dot ui so it will actually running this code here don't worry all the code in the github okay and you can also grab the code from here okay so go here and follow the link so just go here to select the images so let's select another one so let's select 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 this one this one nothing but no brain tumor so you can see a no brain tumor so let's select this one let's choose this one this is uh, this brain is affected by tumor predicted as you can see here uh, this is nothing but a new data Brad, actually i'm not uh training the model using this prediction uh images okay let's choose this one uh, in kind of images uh this is nothing but no brain tumor and also let's check another one this one this one also uh, affected by tumor predict yes brain tumor that's in our model actually work fine okay so this is the video hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and in part number two